guys, Sam here, and many of you have seen uh, that video that I posted on the miniature speed painting. Um, what I didn't really finish that video, there's a bunch of other stuff I'd like to have done to that uh, figurine, if you want to call it that. Um, but I got in the mail across seas my new game that I'm going to be playing and this is actually pieces from Infinity uh, Infinity the game so I'm going to go ahead and do a little unboxing for you guys here so this cost me what 50 about 50 dollars maybe 40 something and it took a week or two? Yeah, about two weeks. Comes in this little cardboard paper. The bubble wrap on the inside. Got your information here. The army that I'm going to be doing is Aleph. It says right there if you'll see it. Yep. Aleph starter pack. That's all I got this time. I'll definitely be getting more stuff. Yeah, I ordered this on the 4th of. No, the 30th. Yeah, so exactly. Actually, it was exactly a week. It took me exactly a week to get this stuff. And they come with a piece of paper that has all your information on it all your order information and here is the package so neat that so there you go it's a very nice box nice looking I definitely like the graphic style of it now one thing I not a big fan of, of the starter pack or the out of their paint scheme that they have on the internet. I love the idea that it's all AI uh, army. So I'm going to be doing a complete different uh, paint scheme on these guys and you'll probably see a couple um, painting, uh, speed paint videos of these guys. I don't know if I should do, yeah I'll probably do one of each unit. Ooh, comes in another box so there you go there you have it you've got basic essential stuff here just advertisement more than anything um, appliance code and then you have your units and what I love about this game so far is that all the units are metal. And it just makes me happy. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get my hands on, on these guys and start painting them. So yeah, that's basically it for you guys. I'm still learning a lot about the game myself, so I won't be able to be able to give you every single bit of detail as that my phone starts to vibrate. And there you go. So yeah, very high quality pieces. Come on. Auto focus. There we go. Let's go to advanced settings so you can probably see so you can see this a little better if I can just turn that down. But there we go. Much better. So you can get see my ugly hands with this. So there you go. 
metal figures. I'm excited to get my hands on. Well, I've already got my hands on it, and I'm touching it right now. But um, I'm excited to start painting these guys and all that stuff. I'm gonna actually go down and get some glue right now because I do not have. I'm fresh out of glue, so I'm gonna have to go and get some before I do this. Hopefully, be more high quality on this. Very nice. I love it. Very, very high quality of uh, miniatures. You can see all the detail and all that stuff. And then with this webcam, I'm actually quite happy with this webcam because it's even more. <laughs> Gotta show it off. So, yeah. There you go. So, um, I guess I'll do a speed uh, creation of this and then do a speed paint of these guys. Um, what bag was that? Oh, yeah, this bag. So it's nice. I'm excited. So I'll be right back. Stop this video, and I will assemble these guys for you guys. Assemble these units for you guys. Okay, guys. So I'm done. I believe there's probably a couple little things here and there that I'd like to change and work on. But as you can see, I used a lot of green stuff, a lot more than I normally do. There was a lot of gaps and stuff that I was very unhappy with, so I went ahead, went in, and filled them, and use it also to, you know, there's a little piece on this guy still, you know, just to get stuff solid and whatnot, especially their bases. Their bases were a lot. Um, wobbly you know I got green stuff all over my hand still the bases were a lot wobbly they're really wobbly and so I used green stuff and shoved those the uh, shoved the green stuff in there in their bases but let's see if we can get decent view of these guys maybe Possibly. New. No. You go backwards. There we go. So, they were fun. It was a challenge. There was a lot of pieces that I still needed to do a little trimming on and whatnot. But, um, there's a lot of pieces that didn't, you know, fit together very well. So I had to use the green stuff to get that little, uh, I don't know, lip that it needed to actually connect. But, um, the force is strong with this one. That's what it looks like he's saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is basically them assembled. I'm going to go through and paint these guys. This is going, it's going to be fun painting these guys. It's going to be a challenge, and I enjoy challenges. I think out of all these guys, there are two uh, characters, or if you want to call them that, two people in this squad that gave me the hardest time. It was this guy, and this guy was a challenge. This guy was a challenge. I think this guy was the pain. All the other ones weren't so bad. But, with this one, I spent, I don't know how many hours trying to get the bottom part of her uh, skirt dress thing to work correctly. Because there's like this huge gap. I don't know if you can see it right there, but where her... Here, let's grab this thing. Right, he, in, right in this area, there's like this large gap, and I was really unhappy with that, so I just spent an hour or so sculpting that, trying to get it to look the way I want. Uh, it turned out decent, especially considering that I've never used green stuff before. As for the other guy, it was just 
a matter of the glue being a pain in the ass. But hey, I got it finished and assembled. Now I'm going to do a speed paint. Uh, that one will take a while to get that out. I still need to go to my uh, local shop, you know, work hammer shop. They have the Citadel paints that I'm going to be using for this. For my uh, air gun and and a couple colors I don't have myself. But yeah, they look quite nice. I'm quite I was happy. It was a fun challenge, and it was enjoyable, and they look fantastic. I love it. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Um, stay tuned. Subscribe, like helps me out a lot. Also, uh, subscribe and have it set up so you get an email, uh, being notified when I do a speed paint of these guys. I just love the metal. Just love the weight. So, yeah, stay tuned for the speed paint of these guys.